Hi, Freshman Seminar. So we are going to look into how to research using this amazing program that social studies classes have used in the past, and it's called ABC Clio. So in order to access it, um, we're going to have to go into the internet and go to http colon slash slash tiny, you see it already, url.com slash abc hyphen, that's important, Clio. C-L-I-O. Now we're using ABC Clio because I'd rather you guys spend more time diving into resources than trying to figure out whether it's a good resource online or not. And please feel free to use this for any of your resource, uh, research projects that you might have in English or social studies or even um, some other random classes that might come your way. It's an amazing resource and it's great for our reverse chronological study of identity for social justice. So once I click enter, it's going to take me to this website and um, hopefully my computer will catch up with us. And it's this login page. Now, this is a pretty intense little login. It's, um, yes, student, Y-E-S-S-T-U-D-E-N-T, -E and the password is, oh, you guessed it, Y-E-S-S-T-U-D-E-N-T. -E so it's yes, student, yes, student. Then we go ahead and log in. Now, we're not there yet. There's a whole bunch of different resources that you can use, and we should narrow it down. So we don't want to look at all databases. That's going to be ridiculous. There's way too many to look at. Um, if your project is about being an African American in today's society, you click that one. If it's about Latin, uh, being Latino, you click that one. Uh, we know we're talking about issues, so we can talk about that. In daily life, it's pretty good, as well as American history. You can choose to narrow it down or not but then you're going to do your search. So once you click on those, you're going to go to the search engine. And um, let's think about a question that a lot of you guys have, and it's just um, basically, we'll look at gender roles, because that's always interesting. So I click gender roles, and I get a bunch of hits. There's American history ones, daily life, issues, African American experience, and Latino experience. So let's just click on Latino because it's one of the, it's just the last one, it's a random one. And I see gender roles for the Incas, 1200 to 1532. Now remember we're focusing on the United States and we're focusing on, um, on depending on the day, we're focusing on the year 2000 back to the beginning of when the U.S. became the U.S., arguably in the 1700s. So that, that's way old. There's stereotypes in film for how Latinos have been portrayed in negative stereotypes. That sounds great. Interesting, at least. Not great. We don't want them to be negatively stereotyped. Machismo. The Mexican Revolution. Chicanas, which might be really cool. Um, the House on Mango Street, which is really neat. So, Real Women Have Curves. It's a movie. Borderland Economy. There's some really, really great ones in here. So, the one that I'm going to pick the one that I'm going to pick is going to be Chicanas, um, just because that sounds interesting to me. It's 1977, um, post-World War II. I can get some, I've got this document right here, and I can, I have a whole bunch of options. I've got further readings. I've got the MLA citation right here, so you can just copy this down. If you don't want MLA, you can get APA from here, but we're going to be using MLA because that's the free one from easybib.com, and we don't really need to focus so much on doing that right. So I, what I would do is I would read through here. I could email this document to myself in case I don't want to do that later. So I could click email this document. Um, or I can just read through it real quick and I can see um, some amazing names that I've never heard before. So Lucy Parsons, Josefina Fierro de Bright, Luisa Moreno, Emma Tanayuka, um, who I've, I've not heard about. And I could do my own research on them at another time. Um, I can look at the Chicana movement, as I took on heavier responsibilities as wage owners, heads of earners, heads of families, community leaders. I can talk about the Chicano movement as the background for the new civil rights movement, um, Julia Luna Mount, Grace Montañez, and the Mexican-American Political Association. And that's pretty cool that women were a part of that in the 60s and 70s. Um, and then, wow, I didn't, know that, I didn't know that there was a woman, Dolores Huerta, who was a lieutenant for Cesar Chavez. Um, so... There's some really cool details in here, and this is an amazing, amazing uh, resource for you. So, let's go back and just, um, let's say we wanted to do a different, a different search now. I can go back to advanced search. I 
I can pick a different era. This is all about Chicanos now. So if that's not, but if you wanted to stick with Chicanos, let's go look at Latinos in the new millennium and see what we get here. Go. The Latino vote. So this is about Latinos in general being Latino. Um, English movement, Si Cuba, um, Panchita Davila. I don't know, there's a bunch of really random things in here, but once again, if you just wanted to start over, then you would just go back to, um, uh, I don't know, let's go back to a the homepage. There you go. You click on ABC Clio, and that gets you back to your homepage. Now, if you want to do just a regular search, We can click over here, and let's say we want to go to African American Experience now. This is if you had a different area of study. You just click on the Switch Database one, and let's just see if we can do, now oh, this looks like a pretty cool one. Look, you don't even have to do any crazy searches. There's some really great resources that are just here for you. Slavery in the U.S. Constitution, perceptions of black athletes. Um, if you, yeah, it's just a really cool little process. Once again, this is great. It's an amazing resource for sure, but we are going to stick with after the 1700s. So slave narratives, slavery in the U.S. Constitution, African Americans in the Civil War, um, all the way up to the new millennium, Hurricane Katrina and racism. That might be a really incredible one to take a look at. A post-racial society, does that even exist? Um, so there's some amazing resources, and when you're done, just please remember to log out. And you're done.